What is going on everybody? This is Mike and Dirk with Terrible Gaming and today we are talking about some Destiny 2 and uh, what we're thinking is going to be happening with social spaces, uh, some of our theories, and some stuff that we actually were able to see today. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, how are you doing Dirk? Good, how are you doing? Fine. Fantastic. <laughs> well that, that was nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, let's talk a little bit about the farm. Um, so today on the beta, they actually opened it up for a limited amount of time. Do you know how long it was, Dirk, that it was actually open? Like an hour? Is that what you said? Um, I know it started at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, that was the one thing I caught on, but I wasn't able to participate at all. So I don't know when they actually shut it down. Yeah, so I was able to get in. Uh, I got in about like 10.30 or so um, while well, it was still going. So obviously it was longer than a half hour. So that's good to know. Um but yeah, so I kind of got to play around and check out like the the first social space uh, that we'll be experiencing in Destiny Two, um, and honestly, it, it was really cool. There wasn't any NPCs or anything like that. Um, it was just me and a bunch of other Destiny players just walking around and um, you know just kind of checking things out, trying to explore the boundaries of the social space. Total um, side question, real quick: yes. Was there a chicken in there at all? Uh, I didn't specifically see a chicken. Okay, because in, I think, the IGN videos when they released it, talking about the farm, uh -huh. um, there was chickens in there. Uh, I don't specifically oh. recall seeing chickens. <laughs> okay, I, when I saw that in there, I immediately flashed back to Zelda. Uh, oh, what was yeah. It? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, like kicking the chickens and throwing the chickens. So, sorry, not, total yeah. side note. No, that's okay. I did not specifically see chickens. Uh, I mean, after this is done, I could comb through my footage and uh, and check again. But specifically, I do not recall chickens, which is a uh, which is a tragedy in itself, right there. I should I wish I would have seen chickens. Um, but a few things that I can point out that I saw that I thought were really cool. Uh, yeah. One, one is there's an entire soccer field, which I thought was pretty awesome with like two goals and you have like a soccer ball. And oh, uh, the soccer ball is there. So, so out of yeah. the tower, the soccer ball survived. Yes, yeah, the, yeah, the whole tower died, soccer ball survived, and somehow we have these electronic uh, goals where we can kick the ball back and forth, and it does like a little buzzer noise and stuff That's when you cool. kick the ball in. It was actually really fun to kind of just kick the ball around and stuff, uh, mainly because it was weird because you can go through other players, but you don't go through the ball, you know, so it's like, oh. it's like you could just like kind of shoot through a person and kick the ball away from them. Yeah. Uh, at one point, we had like five people playing, and it was, it was really fun. Pretty much at that point, though, I was just trying to kick the ball uh, into the water or outside <laughs> of the map So, because I'm one of those people. Um, but, yeah, some other cool stuff that was in there. Well, for one, the the fact that it's on like a, like a rundown, like not super technologically advanced uh, like city is pretty awesome. I really like the way that that looks. It's a, it's a – it's a nice refreshing look away from like the tower and the reef. Mm -hmm. um, so it felt, it felt brand new, which is really nice. I was really happy about that when I actually got in there, I was looking around and I was like, wow, everything's all rusted and grown over. And uh, I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then uh, a couple of other things that I thought were awesome was there's a, there's a space where you can actually like climb up onto, on top of the, uh, like you can get onto like a wire and walk across one rooftop to another rooftop. And then from there you can go to another rooftop. And so you can kind of like crawl on top of the buildings. Like parkour style? Yeah, like hardcore parkour. Sweet. Yeah, uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. Like you do like a little tightrope walk. And then at one point you can even go even higher. Uh, I walked as far as you could go on this one uh, line that went up to like a telephone pole type looking thing. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I ended up falling off because there's like a there's like a certain point where you just can't go any further. I, but then again, you might be able to like jump and get up there higher, but walking it just kind of slid me off, and mm. uh, I fell to almost my death. Uh, I survived barely, <laughs> um, but that was really cool. Uh, I'm really excited to see what they do with uh, like where they're gonna put the NPCs because there's places where you can definitely tell there's gonna okay. be an NPC there. I was gonna ask you about that. Yeah, there's there's definitely like. You see, like, a shop, almost looks like a shop front, like, where they, they have, like, uh, all these suits of armor, and there's, like, a table in front of it, and you could totally tell that that's where an NPC is going to go. Uh, I'll be very, very surprised if one doesn't go there. Okay. Um, there were also some weird areas that were, like, uh, like overgrown areas that 
I was thinking might be a spot that maybe like Zer will end up going to if we still have Zer. Mm, okay. It's like a like kind of off the beaten path. It's not really in a in town really. It's like a backyard almost, but not really marked. Um, also, there are still places for our vaults. Uh, I did find those. Um, okay. You can't access them in the beta, but they were sure. They were definitely uh, that was definitely what they were. Okay. That's what it looked like at least. Um, all that stuff I thought was really cool. One side note of things that I only discovered when I was in the uh, in the actual uh, the farm was that mm -hmm. uh, this doesn't have anything to do with the social space, but the fact that you can climb onto things now is amazing. The fact that you that you like grab the edges of stuff and you climb up when you don't quite make the jump mm -hmm. that is the best feature of Destiny Two. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. Because I mean, when you remember like doing all those jumping puzzles and crap. Like, uh, for, like, uh, Atheon, when you have to jump over those uh, disappearing things, if you could just grab onto an edge and, and lift yourself back up, that would have saved me so much frustration. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and all the other jumping puzzles, uh, I, I didn't play very much towards the end of Destiny 1, so I can't remember specifically what that last raid was called. Do you remember what it was called? What's Which one was head? that? The last raid, the one that was, like, the... Uh, like the the very last one was Wrath of the Machine, the yeah. last one I think that you and I played was King's Fall. It might have been King's Fall with the pendulums. Was that King's Fall? Yes, I think so. Yeah, whatever one with the pendulums, man. If I would have had just to grab the edge and pull yourself up, that would have been game breaking. That would have just been the best, for sure. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, just to kind of like segue into like social spaces as a whole. Like, where do you think they're going to go with social space? Like, do you think it's going to be the same as Destiny 1? Or do you think they're going to change anything up? Or what, what well, do you my think? Th my thinking is they'll probably have something similar to what they did. We'll probably have multiple social spaces, is my guess. Um, I'm assuming the farm will be considered, like, the home or, like, the base of operations, like the tower was, where the, then the reef was added on there. Yeah. Um, really quick question, though, for you. Did you get the sense from the farm and I just had two lines of thinking. Did you get this sense that a, it was like overgrown and rusty because it had been neglected and maybe the time between the events in the first mission between then. And then when we arrived at the farm, that was a considerably long amount of time. Or do you get the impression that maybe the farm has always been there? It's just been neglected and we kind of fall back to it after the tower is destroyed. It, it's probably, or can you tell? I feel like more likely it's the second one. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure what your thoughts were. But honestly, the way it looks, it could almost be that it was just somewhere that they set up camp. Like, it sure. was, like the farm wasn't even a thing before Destiny 2. Like, mm -hmm. the farm was just literally a farm. And mm -hmm. then they just came and they set up all their equipment and they put up their, uh, they put up their you know, armor suits and stuff and, like, mm -hmm. you, you know, stuff like that. I, I don't think, personally, that's how it looks to me. I don't think that it, it was necessarily an established space before okay. Destiny 2. That's how it looks to me, at least. Just because the way it's all set up is almost like it's placed on top of other stuff as opposed to built into that stuff. Like transient, almost. Like yeah. A... Like, okay. like even even maybe that the... Gypsies. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Dang, uh, crusty gypsies. Um, <laughs> but no, it's it, it, I can almost see it as like being a temporary spot okay like which would actually be pretty awesome if all of a sudden one day we just went there and the farm no longer existed it was just some other social space oh that's kind of cool I, that actually is a cool idea i like that yeah it, it would be kind of nice to also kind of give a refresh on uh, you know so like in the destiny one it was like go to the tower again Ugh. like yeah. i've seen the tower so many times yeah you get sick of it that's for sure and another interesting thing about um about the farm was that but it doesn't look like there's any space to open up. You know what I mean? Like, to where it could be expanded on, like the like in the tower. Mm. How there was, like, doorways and stuff that you just couldn't access. But you could tell that there's going to be stuff back there. Oh, okay. That's like, good to know. Like, above where all the vanguards and stuff were. Mm -hmm. Like, that little area when it opened up for the Rise of Iron. And stuff like that. It or, like, where Crucible, where uh, uh, the salad bar was at. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Or salad bar. Lord Salad Bar. 
Um, but yeah, yeah. There, there didn't seem to be any things like that. I mean, I didn't specifically like go and hunt for those things, but sure. it just it, right out the gates, it didn't look like that to me. Mm. Unless they did something where they built something on top of the water because there's like a lake behind it or something. But, oh, okay. But that's the only thing I could really think of. So cool. I'm kind of wondering if uh, if the, if they're going to treat social spaces as like, or if there's going to be multiple so, uh, social spaces starting off, uh, just because like, because I know that with Destiny One it took them a while to get the reef going. Yeah, that, that was like what House of Wolves. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah, I think it was House of Wolves. So yeah. there was a few expansions out, and I don't think they're going to wait that long with this one because just the way that the the farm seems where it's kind of like that transient thing i have a feeling that what they're going to do is throughout the uh story you're going to end up getting to a certain part in the story where there's going to be a different social zone Mm -hmm. and it's going to just like be relevant to the story so then they're going to give it to you gotcha that makes sense that's how it feels to me because it doesn't really make sense like the social space is very uh like thrown like not thrown together by the makers but like thrown together by the people in the game like mm-hmm. from game lore standards uh, yeah like seems thrown together cool well it's good to know yeah so uh do you have any other final thoughts on social spaces before we wrap um, this up no i just hope that the, i hope that there are cool things we can do and then like maybe secrets to uncover or like ways of like let's say we beat a raid on hard or something or we go flawless on a raid or tr- flawless on trials of cyrus there's a way we can maybe show off or like something cool happens to let people know that we are awesome a vip room yeah or on the flip side we can see when other people were successful and like you know like oh look at those guys who just showed up they just beat you know watch my dinger let's go check out their gear and see what they got like something to make us excited to be in social spaces like make social spaces not just a place that you're there to only grab your bounties and go but make it like really a social space where you can interact with others and and maybe do other things or see other things or play a quick game of soccer or just do something, you know, maybe while you're waiting for your fire team to be assembled so you can go raid, you know, whatever it is, something to draw you in there. So if you don't really have anything to do in the game, like, oh, go to the social space, see what happens. You know, maybe I can meet up with some people. Maybe I'm just going to mess around and check out people's loot. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And I actually, after saying VIP room, that would actually be kind of cool is if there was like a, a, a section that was like, you know, like uh, walled in, but not necessarily like a like like a semi transparent wall, where you can like see through it, but it won't let you through unless you accomplish <laughs> some task. Yeah. Dude, and on the inside, it's just Lord Saladin just dancing away like stripper pole. People <laughs> people throwing their uh, their glitter at a glimmer at him. Dude. Lord Shax is the DJ and he's just <laughs> losing his mind narrating and announcing everything. Yeah, it just uh, Zura standing on the side, just his eyes wide open, just like drooling. And Eris is like serving cocktails and like just <laughs> freaking out about the hive. <laughs> Dude, that would be the best. Oh man! Or that's the only time that you can access Zura is because he's in there. So you have ugh. to like complete something to ugh. That'd be the that worst be actually. <laughs> that could be bad. Oh yeah, that would be horrible. Or what if you? What if like in the VIP room, you could get access to special bounties that had like an uh, an option or like a, a high percentage for getting like an exotic bounty? That would be cool. Or like actually, remember remember oh. in Destiny One when like I think the first week you got the exotic bounty I think for like Invective or something and we like lost our mind when it was we that, saw the that. Pocket Infinity. Oh, that's what it was, dude. Yeah. I was I hated you so much because you got that. I was like, oh, no yeah. way. And then at the time, it just seemed like the most impossible task. Like, I was never going to oh, be yeah. able to complete it. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, yeah. The other thing that I was thinking, too, with the VIP room would be pretty cool is if they had, like, exclusive shaders that you can only get from inside there from a shop. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. But like, anyways, you buy them with VIP currency? <laughs> yeah. VIP coins. Yeah, there you go. And all the coins are just a suck it, peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, let us know in the comments. What do you think is going to be happening with social spaces in Destiny 2? Uh, what and do you think? What so- would you like to happen? Yeah, definitely VIP room. Lord Saladin just shaking his money maker. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let us know. What do you want to happen? What do you think will happen? Uh, and if you were able to experience the farm, 
let us know what you thought of it uh, and any theories that you might have in the comments section. Um, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you disliked it, you can you can dislike it too. It's up to you. We don't we don't control you. You have your own life. Um, and subscribe to our channel for more content and Destiny 2 stuff coming up. And until next time, I've been Mike. That's been Dirk. We've been Terrible Gaming. And you have yourself a terrible day. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. If you enjoyed this video, click right here for our latest upload or click right here for another episode. And click our channel icon in the middle to subscribe.